I'm Jo Reid. I am a hip hop dance artist. I teach and choreograph all over Surrey and London. And I'm also an MA student at the University of Surrey. One, two. This week I've been working on um, an all boys project for Woking Dance Festival um, to make a piece for a performance next week. <laughs> Joe gave us some really good choreography and I found it really fun. And it was really good, like, fun working as a team with everyone. So. Meeting the other new guys, um, they're very nice and friendly and they've helped me boost my confidence as well. I've gone through techniques such as popping with them, waving, um, we've, we've done some breaking, we've done some street dance techniques. <laughs> During the show I do body popping. One of the new things I've learned uh, during this residential is the slow motion walking. Yeah, I usually stay on the ground, I do a bit more braking. I used to do three step, six step, seven step, uh, freezes, baby freeze. The thing that I loved the most was doing the headstands because I learned how to do them properly on my own. I've learned how to improve lots of um, dance moves that I already know and like taken them a level up and done them a bit better than they were before. That's the new version I learned. They're a lively group. When I came on day one, I was just a little bit apprehensive. No! And I thought, OK, I've got to keep their focus, I've got to keep them driven. But actually, amongst the chat and the teenage banter, they are a really, really focused group of boys who really all share a love of dance. So um, I found working with them really, really fulfilling and um, a great experience. Well, we're going to be performing on Friday and I'm a bit scared about it. I think the nerves will probably hit them, probably not till next week. <laughs>Festival with the Maven Dance Commission which was presented at the Lightbox Gallery offering artists um, an opportunity to respond to a creative context or a creative setting and this year we set that setting as the Jenny Holzer exhibition who's an American conceptual artist and Angela Woodhouse and Caroline Broadhead were offered the, uh, the commission to make a short dance um, that responds to Holzer's works. What touched us with her work was the notion of something that's been hidden from our view and the way in which she's trying to explore what that is in giving us the sense of something that is hidden but we are seeing it. We also talked about the audience and how the audience would be positioned in a gallery, that we would have one audience on one side and one on another and that they would be framed by a black piece of tape and they would be invited to go into that area performance material was very minimal, trying to heighten an awareness from the audience about had something happened, was it happening, when had it started, secrecy and sense of cover up, the sense of something happening on the front and then something different happening on the back. So it was a, quite a challenge for me as a, as a choreographer to make a piece that had two sides and therefore almost two pieces, it had to satisfy from both sides. The commission stipulated it would be a solo that she had some relationship with the audience, that she had something that she was either offering or she was denying, something that she was indicating that she was giving you, but at the same time maybe she was keeping something hidden, and that these two things could work simultaneously in performance. We decided to use um, a very simple piece of material to black out Henny's eyes, Henny Hale was the performer, and give that sense of Something about the eyes, the eyes of the performer are very key in terms of being able to have a window into the world or a window into the soul. So how do you then deal with a performer you're faced with and you can't see her eyes and you don't know whether you, she can see you and you certainly really can't see her. There was a bit when she got quite close to me and she almost touched me, I fell. And I didn't even realise before that she was coming close to me because she had this like thingy in front of her eyes and I couldn't see her eyes. And I heard her whisper words but I actually can't remember what it was exactly. I just remember it was, um, I felt pity for her in a way because it, it um, sounded quite frustrated and um, afraid. She sounded afraid to me, that's what I felt. Watching the experience with a stranger's show. 
Over the last three years, I'm embarked in a new way of relating to each other through a creative contract. I must confess that my obsession for the male sex led me think up to this project. It's only for men, regular men. They are not dancers, they are not uh, actors. And I love this energy from regular people. It's very important to let the mind, to let the mind out of the, of the room. I love the, the way they are on the stage, the energy, the bodies, how, how they present, how they can be crazy in a moment. We see people, we don't see um, professionals, and this I, I love it. To go a minute, just a minute, far away from yourself. It's nice, you can try it tomorrow. <laughs> Every show we do, we have, uh, with, we have, we are working with a different s strangers. And tonight, in walking, we a new stranger, James. James was not was never on the stage before this experience, and we will see tonight what what's happened. When you see them on the stage, you see a combination between fragility and craziness you know, because they expose themselves to the audience. Hello. How are you? Possible heart attack case, but all this was done just yesterday, wasn't it? It was one day of rehearsing. It's the first time on the stage. And you said just that maybe it's the first and the last. Possibly, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Woking Dance Festival is to get Woking residents and those living in Surrey to come down into Woking and appreciate and watch and participate in contemporary dance. In the opening week uh, we presented Mathilde Monnier's City Maquette. The company actually worked with about 60, just over 60 amateur dancers from Woking and from Guildford which then culminated in the performance of City Maquette on the, uh, on the opening weekend. Bonjour Mathilde, Bonjour. welcome to Woking and to the UK. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about why you're here. I am here with a very specific project called the City Maquette, which is a project that I did in Berlin with the Philharmonic Orchestra in Berlin. And here in, in England it's a small version of this big opera, but also with a lot of amateurs. So there is uh, four different groups of amateurs in this project, in this opera. It's like 60 completely different people. I mean, there is children, there are teenagers, there are martial arts, and there are also seniors. Those are dancing together. It's really important this time, just before the show, because they have to feel together. They have to feel it's one group. One group which is doing a piece, a dance piece, a contemporary dance piece. And to feel that they all together in the silence that they feel this breath together, they feel, they look at each other, so I, I really like this exercise when just everybody's walking and then I just say, okay, uh, just the senior walk. And then they realize, the other realize, oh, there are so many seniors. And then the same thing when, uh, for, for the martial arts, and, and while you're walking, you also see the other, and you're like, ah. Yes, I didn't see him, I didn't see her, I didn't see that, 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 that. And then they, they build things really together. <laughs> this time was not easy, was not easy at all, but the all four weeks organization and to find the groups and that, 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 that. But magic came and it did work and I'm really happy. <laughs> And today it's, uh, we are playing City Maquette at the Walking Festival at 3 o'clock and at 7 o'clock. Mathilde Manier from Montpellier. Very special. <laughs>